Hello, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. This reading is for Thanksgiving Day, November 28th, for the collective. And this is a general read. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay? This may or may not resonate with you, just like always. Uh, take what does, leave the rest, you know. You know the spiel. Okay? We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to get a general overall energy. Hopefully this turns out good because we all want to enjoy our turkey day, right? Uh, that's if you're in the United States. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. I know I have some um, watch followers or subscribers in the UK and in... Canada, but for those of you in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. What general message do you, do you have as the universe, beings of the light, God, goddess, spirit guides, angels, archangels, ascended masters, and the great divine? What message do you have for the collective for... Turkey Day tomorrow. A new day dawns. So this is about new beginnings, happy beginnings. You know, uh, it's a new day. One is a new. Uh, one is a new path. So this Thanksgiving could bring us maybe on on a brand new path. This, is, this has the energy of the fool. Taking that risk, taking that leap of faith. Okay? And we'll go ahead and dig into the tarot. Right? What additional messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collective for November 28, 2019, please? Messages for the collective. November 28, 2019. And my video for today, I think, was marked for the 26th, and it was supposed to be the 27th. And I do apologize for that. In the video itself, I mentioned 26th, but... The title page said 20, or 20, I mentioned 27th, but the title page said 26th. But this reading is for the 28th. Okay, first card out is we have trust. This is the fool card. I said this is, has the energy of the fool, so does this. So somebody is embracing a new beginning. Somebody is having trust in the universe, in the energy, and this could be also a playful energy. Somebody's definitely on a new path. What is the energy? Working beneath the scenes is the crown chakra. Again, this is your connection to spirit. This, this, this crown chakra has been coming up a lot lately. So I feel as though spirit is trying to get somebody's attention. Hey, pay attention to me. Listen to me. Open up that crown. Let me speak. You know, and what is on in the mundane? Refusing to see. This is the two of swords. Uh, somebody might be in a stalemate. Somebody's not wanting to face the music, or somebody was, is somebody's still blinded. Okay, not seeing the truth. Sorry about my dog. He keeps it's very, very windy outside. Hush, storm, and every time the wind blows, he barks. Storm. Storm! Okay, what is the energy that we're 
it coming in, in the past is flow. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. The wheel is spinning. Storm, shut up. The wheel is spinning and fate is taking control. This is what the energy moving into tomorrow is. It is, a, and it is karma. Uh, it is, this is definitely the wheel of fate. Okay. Fate, destiny has stepped in. And so it's up to somebody to take that leap of faith and take that and just trust in the process. Listen to the messages from spirit because spirit is trying to speak. There's a light up here to go into the crown, crown chakra, but somebody has a helmet over their head. They are blocking that mess, the messages from spirit because somebody's not wanting to face a situation or face their inner truths. And we have reach out. We have the three of, three of wands here. This is um, reaching out. And this is uh, going forward. So Somebody could be choosing to move forward. Destiny could be forcing somebody to move forward here. And take that chance. And take that leap of faith. Even if they don't really want to see the truth of the situation. Fate might be forcing it on them. Okay. Fate is definitely at work here. You're, someone is being pushed in a new direction. Somebody is starting from ground zero. Somebody's on the verge of, their, I mean, starting over. This is a completion. A number 10 is also a number one. A completion... And new beginning. This card is screaming new beginnings all over the place. God damn dog. Hey! Hey! Storm! I apologize. Okay, we have, this is the temperance card. This is about balance and harmony. This is the restoration of harmony. This is also, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, this is Sagittarian energy, but this is bringing about balance and healing. You're being called to go on a new path uh, that it, and t to restore balance and harmony within your life, within a situation. We've got the Ace of Cups here. This is definitely another new beginning, new beginning in love, possibly. This could be also self-love, family love. Uh, somebody has been sacrificing, and they're just hanging there in the balance here. Um... This is water energy. This is emotional. Somebody's been going through a very emotional time. And with the nine of wands, somebody's persevered and really stood their ground. And it's like they somebody has the battle wounds. You've been through the war or been through a battle. But somebody is still standing, still standing strong. The, I feel like whatever it is that you were going through it just made you stronger as a person or even as a family. Why is the seven why is the chakra card here? Why is the chakra card here? Please. Again. We got the wheel of fortune again. That's who got because fate is trying to take control. I wish you would stop barking, Storm. Every time that wind blows. Okay. Just like this just like the wind outside. The wind, is, wind of change is blowing right now. The universe is really... I tell you what, if this ain't... I haven't seen such a faded situation. Fate and fate. I mean, the wheel of fortune is... The wheel is turning. If you've been down and out, the wheel is turning in your favor. 
which I feel that's what it is because you've you had the stamina and strength to get through whatever it was that you were getting through going through I'm sorry that was a four of wands I'm sorry I was miss that's completion that's a four of wands I'm sorry building a foundation but here's a wheel of fortune we got all these round wheels I always say wheel of fortune with this one because it's a completion it's it says completion on here it's round as a wheel it has the round wheel on it this reminds me of the wheel of fortune but really this is the four of wands this is a building the firm foundation this is stability um, but I see the wheel in there and we and I was still right I still got the wheel of fortune again so fate is definitely at work and it's spinning trying to help you build a foundation this reach out might also be reaching out to others people to come together this is a holiday tomorrow okay why is flow here please why is the flow card why is the wheel of fortune here we've got the Ten of Wands or Ten of Swords. Okay. Fate is stepping in. Uh, the worst is over now. Fate is stepping in to take care of the betrayal or the hurt. Somebody has been hurt and somebody's been down. And fate is stepping in. We've got the eight of eight of discs. Somebody start um, putting work in. Somebody's putting. Somebody's investing in themselves. Here we go. Somebody's finally investing in themselves. But they have. To, but somebody has to open up to spirit. The spirit's there to assist. And somebody needs to face. Somebody maybe somebody is in the process. Somebody needs to see. Okay see a situation for what it is you know see the flaws and fix them these are all these cards are all screaming that there's been hardship and it's, there's been hardship but prudence is making it through and it's working very hard and create and manifesting somebody's taking action I feel blind fate. So, so somebody's not seeing the situation for what it is, but they're going out in blind faith. Wow. Okay. And somebody's investing and putting the work into themselves. Why is uh, three of wands here, please? Three of wands. Oh, actually, I think that's a th oh, that's a three of pentacles. I'm sorry. Three of Pentacles working together as a team. That is the Three of Pentacles. Too many cards. Three of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords here. She takes nobody's bullshit. Here we got Three of Wands. Virtue. So this is definitely a group of people trying to work together. Valor, you know, standing up for yourself, standing up for your family, standing up for what you believe in. You know, this is taking the high, taking the high road, taking the high ground, okay? This Queen of Swords, she is victorious. She's standing up for what she believes in. She's not taking anybody's shit. And she is laying down the law and she expects everybody to work together. Okay, she has a plan and a vision, knows what she wants to go, she wants to follow through, and she expects everybody else to follow through too. Why is this on Two of Swords here, please? We have the Ten of, pe um, ten of, 
how somebody's not seeing a situation for what it is, and we have the Queen of Wands, okay? Um, they're seeing things as being rosy and happy, and that's the way they're trying to make it out to be to everybody else. They're pretending that they have this happy home, when maybe they're not. Ace of Discs. Okay, I see what this is. Somebody is not seeing an opportunity that is laid out in front of them. Somebody, they have the chance at the happy home, the blissful life, happiness. Um, there is a new beginning. New seeds have been planted. Somebody is tending to them. Somebody's on fire for them. Somebody's got their... This is about ambition and courage. Okay? The, and having drive. But somebody's not seeing this opportunity. And they need to open their eyes. Spirit's given you... The universe has given you an opportunity. You have to open your eyes and take advantage of it and go for it. Okay? And I feel that some of you are going for it in blind faith. Even though you may not actually see the opportunity for what it is. It's a golden opportunity. Maybe you're self-denying and saying it's too good to be true. I hear that coming through very loud and clear. But somebody is, despite the fact that they don't see it as a golden opportunity, deep down through spirit they know that there is some kind of potential. And there, somebody is taking that risk, taking that leap of faith, and getting a brand new start. Because... They don't know what else to do. They're stepping out to, in total blind faith. Um, but this is the messages that Spirit has come up with today. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.